Today we are looking at the Windows port of the game Horizon Forbidden West on the Apple Silicon Mac. So there is no Mac port of this game, we're running the Windows version of Horizon Forbidden West through a translation layer called Crossover. And today I'm going to be showing you how to get this booted up. And the main thing to be aware of is the fact that this is a work in progress. This is unstable at the moment, you won't be able to play very long in this game. However, if you are curious, then you can actually still boot this up following this tutorial. However, it won't be playable from start to finish. My hope is that this is going to be a starting point so that people can get this running in the first place and hopefully develop a fix for these instability issues in the future. So in this video today we're going to be doing a full install tutorial. We'll be running the Windows version through Crossover. We'll be patching it to the latest version of D3D Metal 2.0 Beta 3 using something called CX Patcher and we'll be employing the F16C patch fix. So this is a CPU fix developed by the user Vladimir Prog. I'll be showing you how to install this as well as everything else on your Apple Silicon M1, M2, M3 or even M4 Mac in the future. So the first step is going to be to download Crossover. So what I recommend doing is clicking at the link at the top of this video's description. Every single purchase that's made after clicking this link is going to help to support this channel and the content that I create. Once you're taken to the purchase page, you'll be able to enter this promo code Apple Gaming Wiki New. And once you press the arrow button here, it's going to go ahead and apply a 20% off discount, which is pretty huge, off Crossover Plus, which is the version that we recommend for 12 months of support. However, if you want to make sure that this works for you, make sure to check out the 14 day free trial which is what I'm going to be trialing today just click this try now button and then scroll down and all we need to do is enter our email address and name and then click the download trial now button. So once crossover is downloaded we're going to copy it over to our applications folder and then we're going to double click to open it for the first time. Press open it might ask you to install Rosetta 2 just let that install and then we're going to do the free trial or if you have unlocked this already you can enter your details here from the Code Weavers account. So I'm going to try now to start the 14 day free trial and basically we're ready to go ahead and use crossover but the first thing I'm going to do is to quit out and we're going to make the modifications to crossover. This is an optional step that will allow us to use the latest versions of D3D Metal. At the time of recording that's version 2.0 beta 3. So here we're going to be downloading the latest version of CX Patcher which I'll be leaving a link in the description and we're going to be using 0.5.6 and this contains the latest update to game porting toolkit 2.0 which is D3D Metal 2.0 beta 3. So here what we're going to do is go to assets and then download the cxpatcher.app.zip and then put this in our downloads folder. And once that's there, we're going to go to Finder and then go to Downloads. And then we'll go to CX Patcher, double click to extract this. And then we're going to move this into our applications folder. We are going to make sure that we open up Crossover first before we start this process and then close it. And then we're going to double click on CX Patcher. If it says it can't be opened, then go to the Settings menu here, go to System Settings, and then go to Security and Privacy. And then scroll down until we find here, it says CX Patcher can't be opened. It was blocked to protect your Mac. Click Open anyway. And here we can close this and press open anyway then we're going to type in our password and then log in that's okay and this will basically allow us to open up applications which aren't from the app store type in your password press okay so just be aware that of course this is not a supported method of patching crossover this really comes at your own risk do not ask code weavers for support or refund if you're using this method they will not be able to help you if you need help from code weavers then you should be waiting for official support which is probably going to come in the very near future if you want to be able to use this you need to type in this full phrase and then press agree and proceed now cx patch is ready to use so we're going to configure some settings first go to advanced options and then we're going to be enabling dxvk integrate gptk we're going to use a separate bottle path we're going to be advertising avx we're going to be allowing dxvk async and then we can tweak some of these settings too so now we're going to drag and drop crossover into CX Patcher. Now CX Patcher is ready to go. So I double click on Crossover. Say so we're going to install Steam. Install. Click Yes here. Accept. And now we're just going to go through the standard Windows setup of Steam. And now that's going ahead and downloading Steam. So make sure to allow any kind of permissions that the bottle requests. And then I also advise turning on D3D Metal and also the M-Sync option and then reboot the bottle. This allows us to run DirectX 11 and 12 games through Crossover. Then we're going to make sure to launch Steam. So here we're going to log in with our Steam account. So if you don't have one already, you can create one for free. So what you need to do here is to download and install Horizon Forbidden West. So if you haven't purchased this already, then make sure to make a purchase. So if we try to run Horizon Forbidden West straight from Crossover, then the main issue if you try to run the Steam version directly is that we're going to get this F16C game instruction error. So what we're going to do is to fix this using the patch by Vladimir Prog. What I'm going to do is leave a link in the description for this fix. We need to click on the download this file button 
and then agree to the terms. And then we're going to save this in our downloads folder. And then within the downloads folder on Finder, we're going to double click on zip and then type in the password PCTW, which is listed here, and then press OK. And then this will have extracted this exe file, which we're going to control click and then press copy. Then once again, we'll navigate to the bottle and put this in the location of our installed file. So we can actually check where this is by right clicking and then going to browse local files. But this is going to open up the Explorer within Wine. So you just kind of need to locate where your files are. By default, it's going to be kept inside Crossover. You can also do it from control clicking on your bottle. Going to open C Drive and then you'll find it under Program Files x86 Steam and then Steam Apps. And then if you scroll down, you can go to Steam Apps and then Common and then Horizon Forbidden West should be there. Mine's in a different location. So basically what we want to do is to place the exe file next to the official exe. So that's the Windows executable. I'm going to go ahead and paste this item here. So unlike previous instructions, where I can run the patch directly using run command through crossover. I think the simplest way to do it here with the best compatibility is to actually rename your old exe files. I'm just going to change the name of this and then we're going to rename the patch into the .exe. So I found that this works better for launching without having that F16.6 error message. So now I want to press play. It's actually going to launch instead of giving us that error message. And uh, even though we have that error pop up, it's going to load up in the background instead of just quitting out. So if you see this error message about no graphics installed, then press OK. That means that we've actually successfully launched. So this is now working correctly on 1.5.80, which is the latest at the time of recording. So just click on settings and then tweak some of the graphics settings. I've turned mine FSR3 on with two quality mode and put it on medium graphic settings, which seems to run OK on the M3 Max chip. So as you can see, Horizon Forbidden West appears to run pretty well. Here we have the game set at pretty modest graphics settings at 1080p medium with FSR 3.1 set to quality mode. So this is being upscaled slightly to 1080p and the performance is not too bad. And one of the main benefits of using the latest versions of all of these patches is the fact that facial animations and cutscenes now render correctly and the dialogue is all properly lip synced. We also have very decent support for controllers pretty much out of the box. Just pair your controller to macOS and the game will pick it up. I also tested out the game on my MacBook Pro with the M1 Max chip, 32 gigabytes of RAM and 32 GPU cores. We have the same settings, medium and FSR 3 quality. There are some graphical glitches here and there, especially as the game becomes more unstable over time, which you're going to see after this camp scene here. And this happens pretty much on the M1 Max chip as well as the M3 Max chip. There are basically crashes that happen. Unfortunately, I can't recommend playing this game on a Mac at the moment, and that's because of stability issues that I've been encountering. For example, here the game just froze with this white screen, and this happened more than once. And this is a shame because the rest of the game is basically fully playable. My hope is that a fix is going to be found and developed in the future. So anyway, that is my tutorial video on how to get Horizon Forbidden West booted up. If you do manage to fix any of these instability issues, then please make sure to leave a comment. I'd love to hear about it, especially because the game runs great in pretty much every single other way. Anyway, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.